Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. We've got something newish today. So instead of reviewing a ship that you can find in the game, we're going to be looking at a ship I have created myself. Do a little bit of a rundown, explain the, the reasoning behind the design, and then at the end I'll show you guys how to build it yourself. So this is called the Sparrowhawk gunship, and some of you might be able to tell that there's some design inspirations from a few vessels from other sci-fi universes, mainly Halo. So the the front cockpit uh, and design, it's very much supposed to kind of um, get its inspiration from the, the Pelican dropship. But overall, the shape and the styling of it, I kind of wanted to base it a little bit around the Hawk from Halo Wars. The idea behind it, as the name suggests, it's a... Uh, an A-class gunship. I'd like to use the name Sparrowhawk. So I was originally going to call it a Hawk, but I felt like the Hawk, at least to me, the Hawk is a kind of a, it's already like a, a specific ship in the Halo universe. So I was like, oh, we'll call it a Sparrowhawk. So yeah, like I was saying, it's a, it's an A-class vessel. And I wanted to, to do a series of these videos where I basically make ships for different purposes. Because we all know when you get to Endgame, in Starfield, you make your C-class vessels, and you don't really, you don't really look back on it. You're like, I'll just make a big kind of battleship-esque ship and just kind of, you know, go with it. And I did that for the most part. But then I decided to kind of go back a little bit, and I made a ship like this. And while combat, I play on very hard, so combat's a lot more challenging. It's also a lot more fun. Seeing these smaller ships, this I personally think the ship looks really cool when it's like landed. It looks like a like, you can tell it's a combat vessel. But anyway, we'll do a quick uh, overview of the stats like I normally do. I'll do a brief walkthrough. There's not much in it. And then I'll do a teardown of the ship and show you how to build it. So it's got a fuel of 420, which is... This is supposed to be like a short to mid-range combat vessel. It's not supposed to make long-distance jumps, but because it's Starfield and you might want to go out and explore, I was like, I oh, will give it a decent, you know fuel tank it's got a hull of 800 i wanted it to have enough hull that it could survive the shields going down now on very hard if the shields go down at all you have to push your maneuvering to the max but obviously when i was on like lower difficulties like if you're playing on normal you don't have to worry too much it's got quite low cargo of only 360 and the reasoning behind it was i wanted to make it as light as possible to not really limit the weight. As you can see, it's got three sets of engines there. It's got those two wing-mounted engines, and it's got that back engine that I kind of see like almost like a booster. So it's got an A-class reactor, the best reactor you can get at A-class, giving me 34 base power. It's got a crew of four. It's got a jump range of 29 light years. Now the shields, currently it says it's got 1,032 shields, but I have a perk that increases my shields. I think the base shield's around 600. And then it's got three sets of weapons. It's got a pair of laser weapons just mounted. You can see them there just underneath the uh, the cockpit wings. It's got a single ballistic cannon mounted on the, uh, the ramp leading into the ship. And then it's got a pair of missile pods. The, the idea behind it being a gunship, I almost imagine it kind of being like a space Apache. Like you would, obviously there's no like ground combat in the game, but this would be kind of geared more towards a ground-based combat vessel. Obviously it works in space fine, because you know, that's all you can do, space combat. But it's it's very kind of missile heavy. Like I've got those set of missiles there, and the idea is like that's it's kind of its primary armament. This little single turret, or this single uh, auto cannon here is more like a kind of a defense mechanism when the ship's landed. Obviously in, in reality, you can use it just fine. So yeah, let's, let's go take a look at it. So here it is here. We've got a little... There was a lot of uh, techniques used to make this ship. A lot of merging, which I will showcase in the video later on. Quite like the shape. I like that it tapers on the back. And I I really like the... Um, I know I'm saying I really like this. It's a bit biased because I made it. But I can be quite critical of my own stuff. But I, I like the idea of like the, the wing at the back, the tail. Because... The naming behind it is like um, when I name my ships, I like to have like a a reason, like what's the name, and 
When it comes to birds of prey, hawks are kind of known for having elongated tails that allow them more maneuverability. And voila, this thing has a long tail. But anyway, let's climb in. So if we look at it from the front here, you'll see it has very, I use a little technique to merge the uh, cargo hold into the cockpit. It's got a very pelican cockpit. And here's the turret. Like I said, you kind of have to go around. You can't walk directly under it. It blocks you. But like the idea behind this is obviously you can use it in combat, but I kind of like envision it more akin to like, you know, the funny you guys to play Halo. The pelican ramp has like that machine gun turret to kind of cover the troops. Obviously, this doesn't, it's not meant to carry troops, but on the off chance you're landed on like a backwater planet, you can kind of use this to protect the ship. Yeah, let's hop inside. There's not a lot in the interior. I just have a, a two by one. Hard to believe this little tin can protects us from certain death. I have this little two by one uh, crew area just so that I can so pump far. up the crew capacity. Just because I like having a crew of a high crew. And then we have the docking port up there, and then we have the really cool Nova Galactic Bridge. Which I really, really like. I really like these bridge. So we're gonna we're gonna hop in, we're gonna take it for a brief flight, and then I will explain how I made it. So it's it's pretty fast. What is I mean it is an A class. That was kind of the whole purpose of making it like Trying to make an A-class vessel. Trying to keep the speed as much as possible. Because something I noticed when playing on very hard. If you can boost and keep at max speed, you are very hard to kill. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. So I obviously have a perk that increases my thing, my energy by five. But for this case, with this reactor, we have perfect amount. So weapon-wise, we have a pair of these lasers here to strip shields. We have the single ballistic weapon. But the mainstay is your missile pods. Well, this thing, yeah, it fires really well. I really like that. It just looks really cool. And then if we do a quick speed test. So it's got a max speed of 150. It's got a boost speed of... It's very fast. It's got a boost speed about 600. And then for agility... It's not extremely agile, but it, it's still quite agile. Like the idea, it's like it's a gunship. It's meant to be like somewhat maneuverable, but like not insanely maneuverable. But it'll dance around most of the combat vessels in the game. Yeah, let's let's go back down to a teardown. Okay, so here we are in the ship builder. So I've broken down the modules into different components, into different sections. So these are the, the kind of the habitat components we have. So we have a Magalyn C2 cockpit from Nova Galactic. Um, I know you can purchase this cockpit in on Titan for definite. It's on Titan on, um, on the, oh, I don't know the name of the place. It's like a, it's like new something. It's basically on, it's one of Saturn's moons. There's a settlement in, in the solar system. You can obviously get it in other locations, but yeah. And then we have a two by one Nova Galactic control station. Again, can be purchased in a lot of places, but Titan definitely has it. And then we have this Nova Galactic NG6 landing bay. Um, because it, it goes quite well with what we're doing. And then finally we have the 100 dp slim docker from Deimos. I went with this one because it kind of it it's the, well it is just the slimmest. Now as for the weapons, we have a single KE31 auto cannon. You can purchase this in most places. We have a pair of these Singe P4 MW post lasers. Again, you can purchase these in most places. And then we have a pair of these Infiltrator SCO2 missile launchers. You can purchase them in most places, but I purchased all these weapons in New Atlantis. So for the landing gear, we have a pair of NG-20 landing gear from Nova Galactic. Again, I got this on Titan. And then we have this Hope 5 landing gear from Hope Tech, just for the back landing gear. Now, something to note about this ship is when you're building it for the first time, you're going to have to kind of jump between systems. So what I would do is I would go to Titan first, get all the pieces necessary, because you're going to have to visit Titan, 
for the the uh, hope to, uh, for the uh, Nova Galactic, you're gonna have to visit Hope Tech for the Hope Tech pieces, uh, and Demos for the Demos pieces. But anyway, so for the modules, the pow power and stuff. So we have a pair of these H10 Atlas Helium three tanks. The reason I went with these is because they obviously like they're fuel tanks, but they kind of look like bombs in a way. So it just kind of adds the aesthetic. We have this deflector SG-60 shield generator. This is the most powerful A-class shield generator in the game you can get. We have the R-4000 Alpha Grav Drive from Relidime. This is one of the most powerful Grav Drives in the game. It gives us a jump range of 29, which is really good. And then we have this Ferromac DC-202 reactor from Deepcore. This is the most powerful A-class reactor in the game. And then as for engines, we have a single White Dwarf 3030 engine from Relidime. This is kind of acting as our booster. And then we have two of these SA4330 engines from Slayton Aerospace. These are kind of our wings. So these, I believe you can pick these up in... You might have to go to the Shroud Eklund place on Neon or the Teo place on Neon. And then for the aesthetics, for this the structural got a pair of these nova galactic uh, wings you can pick up them on titan we've got a pair of these horizon weapon mounts you can pick them up in a lot of places and then we have these two deimos wing a's this deimos spine a deimos spine c and then deimos tail these can be picked up at the deimos star yard on um, orbiting mars so yeah let's get into the build so this build is going to use a couple of little techniques to allow you to cheese, in a way. So the way I started is I put down my down my um, go, uh, control panel or control station on the landing bit. And then when you try to put this cockpit, it's going to not let you. So we're going to do our little technique. We're going to duplicate one on top. We're going to snap this here. Duplicate it so it snaps the bottom. And then that's it done there. Now next, we're going to take our grav drive and we're going to place that under there. And then we're going to merge the deep core inside it in a moment. But before we do that, we're going to get these landing gear and these engines. It's kind of fiddly setting this up but once you do, like, once it kind of comes together, so these wings need to go on next. Put these wings here at the front, like so. And then once you put these wings on here, you can snap the landing gear underneath them, like so. And put the docker on. And then we need these two pieces here. So these two, so again, these aren't going to want to do their thing. So you just want to snap them in place, double tap Y, and there you go. And then we're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're going to snap them in place, press Y. And then we're going to get our fuel tank here. And we're going to snap our fuel tanks on each side to the, to the grab drive. And then we are going to this landing gear at the back. This is going to sit down here in a moment, but it won't snap just yet. So you need to put the engine in first, like so. And then once the engine is in place, you're going to put this Hope Tech lander underneath it. Now, the... Okay, so I was just double checking. So the grab drive is in here, but I put it in backwards. So you have to take the grab drive out because I like to snap them together. So you take the grab drive out and you're going to put the reactor in there. And then once that's there, you're going to remove the control station just very briefly. You're going to spawn any one by one habitat module like so. 
slot it in just briefly it's going to be temporary you get your grab drive you place it and then you duplicate you have to be it's a bit finicky if you so you notice how when you duplicate one on top so just to confirm again so you duplicate first place it on top then you duplicate again and it places it on the bottom so it is there now you just delete these two and now the grav drive and the reactor are in together you're going to remove this put back your landing gear like so or your uh your landing gear your control station then you strap back on your little fuel tanks now, before you put the engine on, you can do it in any order, but put the engine on like so. And then you're going to want to snap this. Now, it's going to be red, but if you press Y and then press Y again, it snaps nice and good up. So next, we're going to take this here, and we're going to put this right there. We're going to take the spine four, and we're going to put that right there. And then it's probably not going to play ball. See, it won't play ball, but we're going to do a little technique. So we take these. Oh, not them. Oops. We take these two. And we move them. And we're going to duplicate that. So this one. We're going to move this in here. So it's nice and flush. And then we're basically going to do the same thing again. We're going to get an any sort of one by one. And we're going to but we need to go higher this time so you basically want to go high enough so that so that basically clears that lip and then you're going to duplicate once and then duplicate twice and you notice how it's dropping and then you duplicate a third time and now the engine is nice and flush like so and then you can grab these pieces back and just snap them in there and that's the the back of the ship and now for the wings, wings are pretty simple to go on. They just mount, you just snap like so, there. And each of the wings have the missile pods on them. Now we're gonna have to do another bit of uh, cheesing. So we're gonna remove the cockpit very briefly. And we're gonna bring back our, our lovely friend, the stand-in snapper. And then I have these light sight mounted on these mounts. So we're going to snap that there, and we snap that there. And now, like before, we just duplicate, and then we put our docker back, and finally, we come down here, and we are all good, and this is the ship. Now, this is, this configuration, this is kind of the... The aesthetically pleasing yet functional configuration. If you're playing on like normal or anything that's not hard or very hard and you're just kind of a casual, you know, like you don't like to, a casual, but like you don't really want to have to put a lot of effort into combat because combat, space combat on harder difficulties can be very annoying. But if you want a more heavier combat focused one, I'll really quickly jump and show you. All right, so here we are. This is a version I have basically made for hard mode. It's making use of these Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors. They're A class. They're very, they're pretty much the best weapons in the game. They're particle weapons, and with the current configuration, I can basically rock six of them. So four here mounted on the front, and then two mounted on this spine. Now this is extremely overkill, but this just allows me on very hard to kill things more quickly. Because on very hard, if you make uh, if you get swarmed early on in combat, you're pretty much a goner unless you have like perks that allow you to boost out of the way. So with this setup, if you if you are looking to kind of let's say you want to breeze through combat a little bit easier, I'd recommend these. These can be bought anywhere. Uh, that the Vanguard are set up. So yeah, that was the ship build. Let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, let me know if you if you plan on building it to try it out yourself. I'm going to try do more of these ship builds, just because I feel like there's a lot of interesting ships in Starfield, but 
there's not a lot of like purpose built ships for specific things. A lot of the ships are very all around general purpose. And I'd like to kind of, you know, like give my take on some purpose built vessels. I have another ship I showed off briefly in one of the screenshots for like getting, I think it was getting 100 subs, which was like kind of like a heavy lifter, cargo hauler. So yeah, so if, if you guys are interested in seeing more of these ship builds, let me know and I will do them. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other channel. I still have a lot more reviews along the way of ships. There's a lot of ships in this game. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.